uh, evokes New York City, where all um, children or grandchildren or, or ourselves, people who have come to this city from all over the world, um, and understand how that is the basis of the success of this city. Uh, and yet, I think John said it correctly, the, the reality around us hasn't caught up with that. The laws uh, and so many of our social institutions and customs and one thing or another have not caught up with the fact fully that we're a city of immigrants, a nation of immigrants. And we have to actually be actors in making that change and that transition. And this census is a moment to do that. Um, I'm struck by the fact that the census is called for in the United States Constitution. So at a time that couldn't have been more different, I guarantee you uh, the quote unquote founding fathers, and we wish some women had been in there too, but it was founding fathers, um, they pictured the future with a, a, a lot of creativity, a lot of understanding of writing a document to be flexible and available to future generations. I'm not sure if you could get a time machine and bring the founding fathers to this room right now. They quite could have predicted this. I'm not sure they could have predicted a society that evolved in such a, in my view, positive, stunningly diverse, and democratic direction. So we've taken their original inspiration, and we're all building upon it. And we're actually, literally, creating a link to that moment by participating in this census. And we have a chance to redefine America and our city, but not if we don't all take some responsibility. So this is a call to arms. We all are part of this. Not a single person in this room who can't have an impact. And to all of the media present, um, maybe uh, some people in this city don't understand the impact you have day to day, but a lot of us do. A lot of us understand that you have, uh, you're immensely influential in communities all over this city. You have extraordinary reach. I wouldn't want to tell some people in the more mainstream media how much more reach you have often than they have. It might embarrass them. But um, the fact is you have an incredible ability uh, to reach and to persuade and to educate and also to make people feel comfort uh, and hope. And we need to do that so clearly in this process. Now, my office will be actively involved. The public advocate's office is there to make sure government is serving the people. But in this case, we're here to say, your government needs you. Uh, for us to complete this mission, we have to do it together. And everyone has to do it in a very energetic and activist way. And we don't have a lot of time to do it in. We have to create urgency. We have to give people a sense that this matters. It's very material to them. It will determine representation. It will determine the level of services. I think the mayor's office, I think the mayor himself put out the, the rather gripping figure that if every additional New Yorker participates brings us at least $3,000 more. $3,000 buys a lot of health care, a lot of education. Leaving that $3,000, I want us all to picture the stack of bills on the table, the $3,000 that every time we're losing when someone doesn't fill out that 10-minute form. And I want us to create that urgency. So we're going to be out there in my office uh, spreading the word. We're all facing the obvious challenge of giving people comfort. And some people will never have it, let's face it. We'll say it in every way we can. We'll, we'll get members of the clergy, and we'll get the community newspapers, and we'll get all of us saying it's OK, it's safe, and some people will never believe us. Our job is to reduce that number constantly and say, if we're saying it's safe, and we've been there for you day in and day out, you can believe us. We wouldn't put you in harm's way, but we will tell you if you don't do it, it will hurt all of us. We've got to get that message across with tremendous energy. We're going to, as I said in my office, embark on a five borough census awareness tour. We're going to be out there encouraging people to participate, demystifying the questionnaire, showing how easy it is. And we're going to be doing that over the next uh, few weeks very intensely. Obviously, April 1st is a day that we can all use as a focal point, as census day. I want please to urge all of you, use that day. Use that as the excuse, if you will, because I know all the deadlines and all the realities the media face and all the competing information that you're trying to place in your publications. Use April 1st as your reason to put a headline story out there about why this is definitional for the future of our city materially, but also in terms of the understanding of who we actually are and who deserves power and meaning in this city.
let's say that this is an opportunity to stand to be counted uh, in such a profound manner. And my office is going to be available to collaborate with you in any way. I, I hope we all agree, and I think everyone on the panel would share this view. If there's something that you need that will help you to achieve this mission, we don't want to find out about that in May or June. <laughs> we want to know about that now, because all of us stand ready uh, to help in any way to get the job done. But I think if we do this right, we'll be able to count at the end of the day all the additional resources we brought to our city, but we'll also be able to count and see vividly how much we help to redefine our society uh, to, greater, to a greater level of respect for who we all are. And that's going to move the society forward on many levels. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. The Secretary of State would like to say something in Spanish. Para la comunidad latina ha habido un movimiento para el inmigrante este, que no se inscriba. Y yo le quiero decir que eso es un movimiento que no tiene ninguna razón. Y que eso perjudica a nuestra comunidad. Si uno no está contado, es sumamente grave para nuestra comunidad y los recursos que es, es necesario. So yo quiero que estén muy claramente que esos movimientos no están en favor de nuestra comunidad, sino porque el, aquí la, el boicot o la protesta no es por, por ser invisible. Uno tiene